Hello everyone, Dragon84 here and welcome back to another Shotgun King video. So, um, back to achievement hunting. I hope you're enjoying these videos because we are doing a lot of things that we would otherwise normally not do. I think this is just kind of entertaining. Uh, let's check the sound levels for a second. Alright, everything seems to be in order and let's play with Ramses II on rank 4. We'll see uh, how long we'll play on rank 4 and maybe we'll go to rank 5 at some point. Because, um, I mean, difficulty really doesn't seem to be our current problem, right? right let's um, try and kill this bishop. Oh, we don't get to kill the bishop. Kill the knight? Yes. Kill the bishop. Yeah, we are out of bullets, so there's that. Right, I want to get take care of the rook first. Boom! Cool. Then boom. Just one more pawn to go. Boom. And we are all set. And boom. And boom. I didn't actually get the rook soul. Probably should have done that, but that's fine. All right, there's Bushido. Once per turn, execute a piece with your blade without ending the, your turn. Blade plus two, minus one firepower. It's pretty powerful. Losing a firepower can hurt, um, but it can also do a lot of good. So we will think about this. Court of the King, add two knights, add one bishop, add one rook, all pieces minus one speed. Um, I need this one for an achievement, namely the one where you have two quarter king and one um, it's gold steel armor or whatever. High focus, my favorite card in the game. I probably still is. I don't know. There's a lot of cool cards in the game. Um, fire arc minus 18 degrees, plus one firepower. Flip card if a piece is adjacent to you. It's very powerful. And then there's undead armies. Pawn minus one HP, replace knights, rooks, and bishops with a pawn after they die. I will usually pick up high focus and there's at least one achievement that still needs high focus because uh, high focus unlocks uh, another card. I'm not 100% sure which one, but well, it's there. Undead armies doesn't factor into any achievements that I still need. Bushido also doesn't and Core the King does. I, I think high focus is the most powerful option here and it works towards one of our achievements, so I think I'm picking this. Um, and Bushido doesn't really fit with what we're with, right perfectly with our other stuff, so it would be fine. And if I really, really, really wanted the achievement for the double core of the king, uh, I would probably pick this one. But let's just go for this one. As long as we're working towards achievements, it doesn't really matter which route we take. And we can just... Uh, do stuff here. Boom. Let's go here. There's the rook. You know what? I should really just get a rook soul. Boom and boom. Yeah. There's a lot of pawns and I I'm going to try and keep high focus up. Boom. Mm -hmm. Boom. And let's just kill the king. <coughs> I want to make sure that pawns aren't promoting, but as long as I know that they're not promoting, it really doesn't matter too much. Alright, rightful curtsy, plus one max ammo, 50% chance to knock back an enemy. That's fine. Last guardian, after killing a pawn, promotes another pawn if it's the last one. Also completely fine. King shoulders. Once per floor, drag a nearby piece on your king and throw it in any direction. Um, that could be useful if we end up with an Iron Queen, uh, Iron Maiden. Don't know if it's, um, it's a thing, but it's possible to pick that. And Revolution, remove a bishop at six pawns. Um, this one is actually a prerequisite for um, the guillotine guard. Um, and 
guillotine is one that we need for um, some other achievements. I'm not 100% sure which one. So I think this is the only one that actually works towards an achievement. Because Last Guardian and Rightful Curtsy, pretty sure that they don't really do a lot. This would give us 100% knockback chance, so that would be fun. But otherwise, I mean, max ammo is fine. We, we did run out of ammo. And... Revolution is also going to make us run out of ammo, but let's just go for this one. It works towards achievements, so that's usually what we want. We remove the bishop, which should be good for us. Let's just do this and start shooting a bunch. There are so many pawns that we are not likely to run out any anytime soon. Boom. So let's go here and kill the knight from a distance. Kill this pawn from a distance. Kill this rook. And this pawn because it's in the way. Right, it was getting pretty close to promoting and boom. Some chip damage to the king. Boom. We should just be able to kill the king here, right? Yeah. All right. So neither of these are part of achievements, but they are close. Small Fry Harvest. I'm pretty sure that Small Fry Harvest is part of the same achievement that um, Guillotine is part of. I'm going to check, but I'm pretty sure that this is just what I'm going to take. Otherwise, there's engraved scope. Uh, right click to um, get minus 45 degrees fire arc and plus one range resets on each move or reload. That's uh, kind of fine with high focus, but it doesn't we don't really need it I'm I'm doubtful that I would use it then there's small fry harvest plus one max ammo and gain one ammo each time you kill a pawn all right let's look at my achievements yeah as I thought it's guillotine cannon fodder and small fry harvest so this is what we're doing there's there's also just a lot of pawns so this is going to give us a lot of ammo right every time we kill a pawn we get ammo so free ammo we might never run out again. Oh, I almost killed myself there. Let's not do that. That would have been a downer <laughs> for this video. Um, I'm If I go to the back rank, then the rook is going to put us in, uh, well, pretty close to checkmate. So let's not do that. And let's just go here because then we can try and kill the queen in one shot. <laughs> We did. Uh, well, we have to uh, keep the high focus off for now. That's fine. Boom and boom. Yeah, and again, we're we're not running out of ammo, so we can just keep on shooting. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. All right, here we go. Call slow, slows down white and black backup cards by minus 50%. There's no backup cards yet, but it's possible. Injured pieces lose two speed. That's that's why you're really picking it up. And it's um it's a lot better if you have a big fire arc because if you have a, a low fire arc and high firepower, then you're likely to just kill stuff when you shoot at it. Secret air add a pawn. The secret air replaces the king if he dies. That's part of one achievement. King and wealth plus six max ammo and plus two HP for the king. Then there's bodyguard. King can't be killed if a knight is alive. Knight plus one HP. So I think both of the white cards are part of an achievement, and I don't think they overlap. But I'm going to check. Yeah, uh, the the secret air one is with uh, together with genderqueer and saboteur. Uh, this one is with Kite Shield and one other one. Oh yeah, Castle and Kite Shield and Bodyguard. So all of the pieces that um, protect the king. Yeah, I'm definitely picking this up. Uh, so we're never running out of ammo, so that's cool. And we need to actually kill the knight at some point, which shouldn't be too difficult here. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. And a bunch but we need to kill the knight anyway so let's just do that uh, we can reload in place but we can also move here because 
right? So the, the, the rook was very likely to move here, and if we were going to stand over here, then we couldn't shoot really at this, so... I don't mind just shooting at the king here. I think that's fine. King has 4 HP. Let's try to kill him. Nope. Didn't work, and... We're going to use our soul here. <laughs> I did not think that was going to be necessary, but the, the, the white pieces moved very smartly. Right, the rook blocked off the other uh, corners, and the queen moved over here. I mean, I... I could use my king's shoulders and pick up the queen and throw it. Um, I'm still a little bit unclear on uh, if... Right, what if, what if the, right, because the queen is not going to die, the queen is going to take three damage. So what if that happens and the queen comes, uh, ends up over here? Am I going to die? I could just throw the queen off, off the board and that's what I'm going to do. So let's just throw like this. Cool. And then this, and then this, and this, and then this. Then just kill everything. Yeah, I think this was the best uh, move here. Alright, pretty cool, pretty cool. Hey, there's analysis paralysis. I'm pretty sure that analysis paralysis is the one that you can only get when you have high focus. Alright, let's look. Uh, rightful courtesy, plus one max ammo, because max ammo. Plus 50% chance to knock back an enemy. Analysis Paralysis can play for 6 turns or until you are in check. Piercing Truth, bullets have a 30% chance to pierce through targets. And there's Conclave, add 2 bishops after 15 turns. I think there's one achievement I need with Conclave. And there's Analysis Paralysis that I need for another one. Right, I think it's Analysis Paralysis and Black Mist. And the one where you get to play an extra turn when you use a soul. Uh, I'm going to, going to look at the Conclave one. So yeah, as always, we are just continuously picking up things that interact with achievements that we have nothing else to do with. Um, Conclave is together with Cardinal and Sanctity. Um, Cardinal is one that I often pick up, right? Uh, it promotes a pawn into a bishop and gives you minus one max ammo. And... <sighs> But let's go with the analysis paralysis because that one feels more unique and the other things that right the the black mist and the sacred crown I'm I'm always picking those up always getting also also getting a 100% knockback chance that's pretty decent I think I like this one so we're going to skip our first 6 turns Well, that happens. Um, I'm not going to be in check, whatever happens. So let's just shoot a little bit and then reload in place. Yep, the rook actually didn't put us in check, which is great. Uh, and then we go like over here, I guess. Still not in check. Let's shoot here. Well, now we can't shoot here anymore, so let's go over here. Shoot. Shoot. Go. Um, again, I have the king's shoulder, so I could just throw this rook. Could throw it off the board or wherever I want. Let's just throw it off the board. Oh. I just pick it up. No. I am unable to pick up the rook. Fine. Be that way. All right, yeah, you get to be a bishop, that's fine. Boom, boom, and boom, boom, and boom. I don't know why I couldn't use the king's shoulders, but, well, 
it happens. Ritual Dagger, minus one fire range, plus one blade, king, minus two HP. Um, I don't need that, but we will see if it's something that we are going to pick anyway. Pillage, remove a rook, add five pawns, pawns plus one HP. Don't really like that with our current position. Also, don't think I need it for an achievement. Roman Belt, plus three max ammo. <laughs> don't need that, but it's possible. Throne Room, king plus two HP, queen plus one HP. Making the queen stronger isn't great, but making all of the pawns stronger isn't great, especially right given that we also have six extra pawns. I can't imagine myself picking up pillage, so I'm almost certainly picking up Ermine Belt and Throne Room. I think Throne Room also unlocks something that I need for an achievement. It, it at, at the very least it unlocks something, but I don't know what. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not picking up the other one, so we're making the queen a little bit stronger and let's see what happens. Again, skipping six turns. Alright, uh, I don't want to shoot here because I might accidentally kill myself. Boom, boom. Um, let's just reload in place and see what happens. Yeah, just get rid of as many pawns as we can. Boom. Mm. Queen has a lot of HP. Right, I'm going to go over here and just clean house. Um, yeah, come on. Why? All right. Boom. And boom. Cool. Yeah, the, the, the user interface for throwing pieces um, sometimes throws me off a little bit. All right, we have four more cards to go. We could really get an achievement. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Unholy Call. Three pentagrams, extra turns, plus two firepower. I've picked this one a lot. You know the drill. Conclave, again. Could go with two other cards to get an achievement. Bloodless Coup. Pawns can't attack you. Flip this card if a pawn is killed. I mean, I don't need that. And the achievement for this needs three other cards. So we're not very likely to get it. Right, because um, right there's uh, peace and philanthropy, but philanthropy also needs grenades. Uh, right, King the Alms, and I don't have that. So very unlikely to get an achievement with this, and it doesn't really help us. But there's a Jester. I don't know if I've showed, shown this one on, on camera before, but here it is. The Jester add upon Jesters can move diagonally and have plus two speed. Jester, jesters pass the hat when he dies. So you add a Jester, and it's... Um, it's faster and a little bit more dangerous, uh, but it's not really all that interesting. Um, I think there's two more cards that unlock after you have this one. I mean, I've had those cards before, but I think I just want the Unholy Call here. And having a Conclave, I mean, that's acceptable, but I don't know. We we're not very maneuverable, and with the analysis paralysis, we'll all, we're always going to be on the back foot, so we're not that likely to be able to trigger all of these. And maybe Bloodless Coup works well with analysis paralysis. And we can show off the Jester. I think it's fine. I think both of these are fine. I think neither one is great. Um, I have five firepower, so I'm not that scared of doing anything here I don't know I mean I kind of have to show the gesture on camera right I don't, I don't think I've done that one before but let's just do that um, I don't think either one is all that much worse or better so right the gesture is going to be a little bit quicker um, 
it's mostly just a pawn, but he can also move diagonally. But let's just try and kill this knight first. Um, reload. This pawn is kind of close. Let's move over here, because otherwise we're going to be in ch checked by the Jester. Je Jester only has 1 HP, so that's fine. I don't know if he gives me um, ammo if he dies. Yeah, that's not all that scary. Oh, I... Okay. I was <laughs> really hoping to... Um, um, have the queen do something relevant. Um, just a might promote. Um, yeah, let's go here. And boom. Boom. Oh, this isn't great. Um, Alright. Boom. Right, because if I were to just move, the, the rook would put me in checkmate, and honestly, I'm not 100% sure what would happen after that, so I think this is just the way to go, and boom, easy peasy. Alright, Royal Loafers, Strafe Mode, right click a target and fire on your next move, Ammunition Depot, add a rook, gain 2 ammo each time you kill a rook. High focus, plus 18 degrees. I mean, we already have a high focus, so we know what it does. Conscription, add upon every five turns. Then we're never getting rid of the Jester, but we're also never running out of ammo. I'm going to look at the Royal Loafers, but I'm probably just going with the bottom option. Right, uh, adding a Rook is a hassle, and if we can just add more pawns, that's probably just fine. And um, High focus is just great. I'm going to look at the Royal Loafers. Yeah, I kind of knew it, but getting the achievement with the Royal Loafers is so insanely unlikely that we're just going with this one. Pretty sure there's no achievements that use uh, conscription. Is it called conscri conscription? Yeah, let's take your free turns. Yeah, it's called conscription. All right. Um, can just do this without any trouble and do this and this and this we did a little bit of damage to the rook uh, we can actually do this and try and just go for the rook it's great boom and reload in place, see what the queen does. Oh, that's, they're so quick. Um, so I could shoot or I could throw. I mean, I think if you can throw a queen, you just shoot, right? Oh, I want to, come on. How do I pick up pieces? Ah, come on. All right. I, I, I know that this is something that I can do. Yay, hello user interfaces. Yeah. All right, I, I mean, I, I guess I'm forced to just shoot the queen. I have four firepower, so it's safe. All right. All right. So Jessers pass the hat when they die, but also when they promote. And that's fine, I guess. I mean, we're just going to have to kill the king anyway. And we were already almost there. We have six firepower now, so we should not be in that much trouble. Unfaithful Steed, that's part of the same achievement as the... Um... All right, <laughs> I saw something and I have to finish this thought, but um, Unfaithful Steed is part of the same achievement as the Royal Lovers that we just skipped on. 
So if after that we see the Wand of Wings, I think, um, then we have lost another achievement because <laughs> again, we, we did that before uh, where we were like, all right, we would need to get three exact cards to get an achievement. I don't know, um, but that's up against Karma. Plus 30 degrees fire arc on black squares, minus one firepower on white squares. I think we are in a unique position where we don't care about that too much because we have six firepower and only 29 degrees fire arc. So we could definitely pick this up. One of the biggest downsides is that we are very likely to kill knights off quickly. So I don't know how much it would do. All right, then there's a uh, majestic sensor, plus one max ammo, extra soul slot. That's fine. Um, we are not using our soul slots a lot. I mean, <laughs> we still have a rook soul. Well, we should definitely have um, gone for the queen soul at some point, but I just haven't looked at it because it hasn't been relevant. And there's then there's another analysis paralysis. And I'm pretty sure that these stack and I wouldn't be able to play the game for the first 12 turns or until I'm in check. And that would just um, allow White to keep on playing until I'm in check. I don't think I can pick this up, so I think I'm just going to have to sack this up. Karma is one of the most annoying White cards to play against. But honestly, I think we don't mind too much. So let's just go for this. And maybe we can use Unfaithful Steed a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, let's just skip a few turns and shoot. shoot. So we can move two squares, but I don't think we want to. We can go over here. We wouldn't be in check, but we would be next to something, and that would make us lose firepower. I mean, that, that would make us look, lose two firepower from the high focus. I don't want that. I'm going to go over here and try and kill the queen first. Well, we didn't kill the queen yet, but we will. Um, we have four firepower now. That's actually not too bad. Um, we could use a rook soul and then get a queen soul. I think that's reasonable. Let's do that. Yeah, <laughs> all of our things are turned off. High focus, high focus, bloodless coup. Everything is turned off. And we're not in check from this. Let's just shoot. Then kill that. And kill everything. Yeah, we're never getting rid, rid of the Jester, but we don't have to. Because we can just win. Alright, yeah, Karma doesn't hinder us too much. I really don't think it's a problem. There's another Analysis Paralysis. I mean, we really, really, really can't take that. Even, I mean, Elite Gem, we don't really need that either, right? Ammo Regeneration, definitely don't need that. Fire Range is fine, but we also don't really need that. Then there's Imperial Shot Boots. Minus one max ammo, add a cannonball to the chessboard. Cannonballs can be grabbed and thrown at pieces. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Ramparts, remove two pawns and add one rook. I mean, we probably don't mind that, although we I think we'd rather have two, point, two pawns than a rook, but I think we're at the point where we don't mind that, and I just don't think Getting multiples of analysis paralysis is ever uh, defensible. 
definitely not when there's so many pawns on the board. Alright. Oh, hello. We're in check. That went pretty quickly. Um, so we are going to move out of the way because we can't kill the queen in one shot. I mean, in theory, but practically no. Uh, important that high focus um, doesn't count the the boulder cannonball as a, as a piece. Um, let's move over here, right? I want don't want to be in this, right? If, if I'm here, then I can't shoot here anymore, and that would be a problem. All right. Um, I don't like where we are right now. I'm probably going to have to throw the queen off the board in the next uh, turn. And I want, don't want to be in check from the knight, so let's go over here. Yeah, I mean, I can't kill the queen by throwing it, so let's just throw it off the board. And boom. Boom. Uh, the gesture is going to promote, and I don't think I can do anything about that. Oh, I'm in check. Yeah, gesture promoted, and I don't want to be here anymore. Boom. Boom. This is getting pretty dicey, honestly. Um, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, this. Another promotion. That's fine, I guess. Alright, I'm just going to have to kill this king right now. Pretty sure, pretty sure that's, that that's just what I have to do now. Um, right, let's move back a little bit. <coughs> Kill this. Kill this. Move here. This is getting so complicated. Alright. It's a knight. Oh yeah. The knight is a bodyguard, of course. So I have to kill the knight. We will. And now we can just kill the king. Alright. Yeah, that got, that got pretty complicated. But, I mean, we are very powerful because we have two copies of, um, of high focus. And, I mean, high focus is just so insanely good. Um, we are on a black square, so we have a lot of fire arc. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Almost 60 degrees fire arc, that's really nothing in the grand scheme of things. Let's just kill this. Hey! I just shot at the cannonball. And it moved back. Is that something that always happens? I didn't know that I could do that. Huh. Definitely something to keep in mind. Um... I mean, there's a lot of um, rooks and queens and stuff, and I need to do something about that. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I mean, I'm just going to throw this one off the board. 
Oh. Thank you. So, I was wondering about this at some point, but um, I really feel like at some point I had a situation where I ended up next to the king and I. Uh, and my folly shields didn't protect me against the, the final boss, White King. Oh, this is a problem. Um, I might have to use my Queen Soul in a second. Yeah, I have four firepower. I can move over here, so that's fine. But now I'm almost certainly using my Queen Soul. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I have a 100% knockback chance, but I don't think the the large white king can actually move. Let's just use my queen soul here, and boom, boom. All right, down to nine. Uh, I have five firepower, so if I sh get to shoot twice, I should just win. Boom. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of here. This is getting scary. Alright. And boom. Of course, there's a knight. Yeah. I'm not going to be in check, so this is fine. There's more and more pieces on the board. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no, 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 no. Alright. I need to kill those knights. Yesterday. And. Am I dead? No. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I could have used my. Um, my unfaithful steed more aggressively. I can't use my rook soul. I've already used my king's shoulders. Uh, if I shoot here, I mean, I might move the queen back, but then the queen is going to go over here, and that isn't going to help. Right? I'm thinking about using my my knockback. Can't win by killing the king because there's a bodyguard. Yeah, this um. <laughs> This combination of cards really got away from us, I think. Um, I also think that I could probably have played this better. So maybe there's a chance for me that I shoot and then the queen might be knocked back to this field. I don't think that's possible, but I also think I don't have any other options. Yeah, I thought I could just go for the king here, but I forgot about bodyguard again. That happened before this run. Um, I really don't have other options, right? No. All right, let's try it. I'm going to shoot like this, and there's a maybe, maybe a tiny chance for the queen to get knocked back to this square. Don't think so. Oh, interesting. All right. Apparently, that's a thing. Cool. Are we... have we just won? Wow! I was 100% sure that we were dead. So, when I knock back the queen... Um, then... Um, the queen didn't actually get a move, even though I was in check. So, our plan worked. The knockback saved us. So, important lesson. Uh, I think I've uh, said this one before. Um, 
don't give up. There's a lot of the time there's actually something that can save you because there's so many complicated things going on is in this game that a lot of the time something can really save you. I don't think it was possible to get any achievements during this run. Um, we put ourselves out there and yeah, we, we got a little bit overwhelmed, but we were also so incredibly powerful that it didn't really matter. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next Shotgun King video. Goodbye.